All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. In this sequence, I'm gonna show you how to save an Autodesk Inventor drawing. So I'm gonna need a new drawing. I need something to save, right? It's gonna be an English file standard inch IPT, and I am gonna hit create. So just like in previous videos, I begin by clicking the 2D sketch or start 2D sketch button and I'm gonna go click on the XY plane. For this drawing, I am gonna go with a simple square starting at the origin. And I am gonna dimension it because dimensioning is a really important skill and it's good to practice it. So I'm gonna start out with the width, also known as the distance along the X axis. I'm gonna click on this bottom line. I'm gonna place my dimension and I'm gonna go with the number two and hit this green check mark. Pops off the screen, no worries. I'm gonna go up to the magic cube and I hit the word front. Next, I'm gonna dimension the height. So I'm gonna click along this Y axis and place my dimension off to the side, also doing two inches, hit the green check mark. Go into my magic cube and clicking the word front, you can see I have a two dimensional square that's two inches by two inches. Now you probably remember from a previous video that to make it three dimensional, I'm doing what's called an extrude. And in this software, that means you click the letter E, which I'm doing right now, and we get a extrusion preview. I like to see the entire preview, so I'm gonna go to my cube here and hit the corner. I can see that I am extruding to a distance of one inch. I'm gonna switch that to the number two, and I'm gonna hit okay. So now I have a three dimensional cube that is two inches on all of its different dimensions. So that looks cool. Now it's time for the purpose of this video, which is learning how to save. So what you need to do next is you need to go up and click on this little disc. This is a floppy disc, like from the 90s, 2000s, early 2000s, super early 2000s. Uh, floppy disks are actually used. So you're gonna click on this picture of an X, or a, not an X, I saw that X pop up this picture of a disc and as soon as you get in there you're like oh, okay save as good idea you need to change this save in to a spot that you can get back to now for most of my students that means they're going to hit this drop down arrow and one of the spots that you can save is in your google drive so i'm going to click on that i'm not only going to click on it i'm going to double click so now I'm into that Google Drive folder and you can see it's starting to populate with a lot of different folders that I have. And yours will probably do that too or maybe you'll see different files. So I'm not actually going to put it in a specific folder for this, but what I am gonna do is go in and change the file name. So I'm going to change this part name and name this guy the two inch cube or practice so I've got the spot it's in my drive I've got a name for it I'm gonna hit save that's all there is to saving a part in this software thank you so much for watching I appreciate it if you've enjoyed this content please hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned in our next video I'm gonna teach you how to make a multi-view drawing it's kind of a big deal <laughs>